In this video, we're going to look at how to find equivalent fractions. The method for finding equivalent fractions is to multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same number. So here is a fraction, 1 third. If I multiply the numerator by 2, I also have to multiply the denominator by 2. So 1 times 2 is 2. 3 times 2 is 6. So 1 third is equivalent to 2 sixths. Let's go back to 1 third. But this time, I'm going to multiply the numerator and the denominator by 3. So 1 times 3 is 3. And 3 times 3 is 9. So 1 third is equivalent to 3 ninths. So now we have 3 quarters. If I multiply the numerator by 2, I also have to multiply the denominator by 2. So 3 times 2 is 6. And 4 times 2 is 8. So 3 quarters is equivalent to 6 eighths. Let's go back to 3 quarters. But this time, I'm going to multiply the numerator and the denominator by 10. So 3 times 10 is 30, and 4 times 10 is 40. So 3 quarters is also equivalent to 30 fortieths. So now we have 8 twelfths. We can also divide as well as multiply to find an equivalent fraction. So if I divide the numerator by 2, I also have to divide the denominator by 2. So 8 divided by 2 is 4. 12 divided by 2 is 6. So 8 twelfths is equivalent to 4 sixths. Let's go back to 8 twelfths. But this time I'm going to divide the numerator and the denominator by 4. 8 divided by 4 is 2. And 12 divided by 4 is 3. So 8 twelfths is equivalent to 2 thirds. Now it's your turn. Here's a fraction, 5 sixths. Can you find three equivalent fractions for 5 sixths? Let me know your answers in the comment section. Remember, you must multiply or divide the numerator and the denominator by the same number to find an equivalent fraction.